welcome to Everyday Art, where we'll be bringing you tips and techniques to help get back into art or start for the very first time. Primary, secondary and tertiary colours. Hue, tint, tone and shade. You'll need some paper, a ruler or an object with a straight line, a pencil, a compass or round object to draw around, and any medium of your choice. Draw a larger and a smaller circle and divide into 12 sections. It doesn't need to be perfect. You'll need to create four of these. The three primary colours are yellow, red and blue. In theory, primary colours are the root of every other colour. There are three secondary colours, orange, purple and green. Secondary colours are created when mixing two of the three primary colours at a 50-50 ratio. Yellow and red equals orange, red and blue is purple, blue and yellow is green. There are six tertiary colours. These colours are created by mixing one primary colour with the following secondary colour at a 50-50 ratio. For example, yellow and orange creates a yellowy orange. This completes the colour wheel. But what do we mean when we use the word colour? Colour is a general term used to describe every hue, tint, tone and shade. The set of colours that we've just mixed are known as hues. A hue refers to the dominant colour family of the specific colour that we're looking at. For example, sea blue, sky blue, navy blue all fall under the main identifying name of blue. A tint is made from a hue that has white added to it. This can be the tiniest speck of white or almost pure white with the tiniest speck of hue and everything in between. A tone is made from a hue with black and white added to it. You can create a variation in tonal quality depending on the amount of white and black used. Think of all the variations of grey from almost white to almost black and any hue of your choice at any quantity. Shade. A shade is made from a hue plus black. Just like tint and tone, shade can be any variation from a speck of black mixed into your hue to almost entirely black with a speck of hue. Using these principles, have a play and see how many colours you're able to create. 